Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome back to my channel and to this week's video. We are going to continue with the jar that we've been pulling things out of. I think we're going to be able to finish it off today. I see some good stuff. I see a Mickey Mouse watch. I see a heart. So, yeah, oh, I think I see a ring. <laughs> Honestly, I have not looked in this since last week, so I am eager to also find out what's left in here. So I hope you all are having a good day and I hope you enjoy hopefully this last uh, installment of this jars. Let me change my camera angle, get some of this stuff on the mat and we'll start looking through it. See you in a bit. Alrighty, here we are. I really do see some good things in here. We have a box but I think I'm going to hold off on that. This looks familiar. This really looks familiar. I don't know why. I don't see it in my little bucket, but it may have been from a previous jar, or it might just look like one from a previous jar. But anyway, I know I don't usually show the earrings, but I did on that one. Let's see. We have a stone, I think. Alrighty. Agate. Jasper. I'm not sure. It's anyway, it's it's wire wrapped. Unfortunately, this is craft wire. It's a nice job. It's very similar to pieces I have wire wrapped, but it's craft wire. And although this feels pretty sturdy, this here it will catch and pull and I'm not sure. That's a pretty stone though. Very nice. Oh. Well, there's a little bunny. <laughs> if you associate the bunny with Easter, too bad we just missed it, but it is a watering can, so it is springtime, we'll say. And that's cute, little brooch. And we have not hematite, but faux hematite because it is magnetic. I know a lot of people call this hematite, but it's my understanding that it is the hematite color, if, if it's magnetic like that, it is man-made. So, but still pretty. I like hematite. And another man-made stone is the uh, gold stone. And we have a stretch bracelet. And let's see, what was this? Okay, this is a bracelet. Okay, we've got springs <laughs> or coils and a satin style, silky style. Not sure I like that. Oh, here's another barrette. We've gotten a few of those. This is nice. It looks like pewter. I don't believe it is, but no marks. But it has that grayish pewter look. So here's that ring. That's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. But it is costume. From what I can tell, looks like there's wear. But I'm going to double check. It's open. These are open in the back, so I don't know. It may or may not be something. Well, well it doesn't stick. Let me see. No. No marks, but it's still pretty. Still pretty. Oh, I smell someone's perfume. Ooh. Oh my, this is pretty. Very pretty. Oh, Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia. Got the pro this is very pretty. It is missing a couple of rhinestones on this piece. That's good. And they look like they're all around this um, cameo piece. And it says Leah Sophia there. So it is my understanding, and if anyone knows differently, please correct me in the uh, comments. But Leah Sophia was a home party establishment, kind of like Sarah Coventry. But they have gone out of business? Yes? No? I think I read that. I like this chain. I like this. But too bad. 
We've got some repair to do on it. And we've got this piece. I would say that's a tree, possibly a Christmas tree. Glass pendant. Oh, it's on a rubbery, like a silicone cord. Here we go. And this, whatever this is, bracelet. Periwinkle by Barlow. With a starfish. Well, wow, that's pretty. It's got somewhere on the back. It is a slider. And let's see what this says. Oh, White House Black Market. They make some pretty good jewelry. I think. I think their quality is really, really nice. And we have this one. So, And we have a tag. Park Lane. Oh goodness, I don't remember if they're still in business. But this is done nicely. It's on a chain. Oh, and it's not sticking. Maybe brass. I can't, I cannot imagine this thing being gold. I mean, I could imagine it being gold, but... Because <laughs> I have a good imagination. <laughs> but I, I don't know if um, Park Lane did sterling or gold jewelry. But it's definitely a quality piece being on a chain, and it's heavy. You know, got some weight to it. Very nice. Alrighty, let's get to this watch. It's Mickey. This, that, this is Disney. I don't think this... Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is quartz. Anyway, it's not winding. I think I have a band like this on another watch. My granddaughter likes Mickey Mouse. Of course, she likes a lot of things. She used to, so I maybe she'll like that one day. What is this? This is unfortunately broken. It's missing the the bar, the the pen, and it probably had a fold over clasp, which is missing. But that's pretty. This I'm gonna have to take a closer look at this. I don't know if this is coral. I don't know, but it's pretty. I like that. Let's see. Cats. K-A-T-S, I think. I'm going to take a quick look. Yeah, Cats Creations. Very well made. I like it. What is that, a trumpet? I wonder if this is a handmade piece. Looks like it, but I'm not sure. It's very nice, though. Ooh, this looks very interesting. Napier, Monet. Should that have, it should have a name on it. Oh, it does. Monet. Yeah, boy. It's a lot of wear on this. Somebody really liked this bracelet. It's diamond cut. Give it that spin. Sparkle. Yeah, I like my Monet. Too bad that's worn. Alrighty, here we have a necklace. And has a stone. I think might be glass. Just glass, not a, a natural stone. Looks like it's crackled. And a long chain. Nice looking clasp, but I don't see a mark on it. So, got that. And what is this? This is a lot of chain. Interesting. 
with a box clasp. And I don't see any names. And it, it doesn't look like it's staggered much. It looks like it's all pretty much the same length, but different different styles of chain. Same style, really, but some have stations and some are plain. Alrighty. Well, got that. We got it. Okay. Got a little brooch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that a dachshund? I don't know what this is. Is that his other ear? That is cute. <laughs> and I don't see... I don't really see a mark on there. I see a mark, but I don't think... I think it's a scuff. But that is so cute. Very cute. I'm looking at this because I thought... I don't see it. Okay, well, I'll put that off to the side as well. Oh, another watch? No, yes. <laughs> No, yes, no. Yeah. This looks like a good one. And Klein. I think so. Small face. That's nice. Another Anne Klein. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Too bad it's broken here, but I like that. No problem. Who used to say that? Jay Leno, right? No problem. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, we've got a broken brooch. I'll get to that in a minute. I think these are a pair. Yeah, they've seen better days. Oh my, this crocheted necklace is tangled up, or well, this is tangled up in the necklace, but I think we're going to get it. Yay! This is acrylic, not glass, but it's cute. Missing the pen now. Easy fix, I've got some of those. So I've got that, and my I'm trying to get this. This does not want to move. So, to the lady that told me, undo the clasp. I can't. <laughs> but anyway, got it. Cute. Oh, missing a rhinestone. Yeah, and this is just, I don't know what the deal is, but it's not budging. Craft, perhaps. And here we have a necklace with some, like an olive green color pearl. And, oh, and a tangle. And this has a tassel, but the drops are all caught up. So it comes down like this, and then it has a tassel, and these, very long tassel with these on the end, but they're all together. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's broken. Too bad. I might be able to put that back together. It does look oh it does have a hole and it has a jump ring, so that might be an easy fix. This is so cute. Very delicate. No marks, but it's a little purplish crystal stations on here. Gold tone. Cute. And we have this with two hearts. One opened, 
One closed. A lot of wear, though. Alrighty, we have a wishbone. Oh, that's cute. With the baguette at the top. Pendant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did my mind go? And a silver tone chain. And we have this. Okay, I think this is a yeah, it's a double layer, at least on the top portion. Wait a minute. That might help loosen it up. Let me shake it out. I can't. <laughs> it's, it's giving me a run for my money. And this is another one. I cannot open the clasp. It's... It's not budging. It's not opening. So, um, but because of the two chains in the back, I'm assuming it is a double strand, one shorter than the other, and this one is rather long. The bottom one. So, may or may not be able to get that one. Okay, here's another watch. Hmm. Oh, it's got butterflies and flowers. I wonder if there was something in here. Stainless steel back. Don't know what that says, if anything. Let me check. I think it says Nouveau. A little big. Nice, I like the butterflies. Okay. Oops. I'm reaching in. I hope I can do this. found these. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a skeleton. Interesting. And we have Noel. It's cute. A little wear on the hat and the scarf. But that, oh my. Some rhinestone earrings. I don't know. That needs a that needs a bezel of some sorts. Oh, what's this? Aha, uh -huh. Chico's. Oh, A H A. I don't know. I said aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Chico's 2007. Oh, I like that. And look, all the rhinestones are there. Oh, yes, I like Chico's too. As far as, well, I say modern brand, but they came later than Monet. I like it. Can you, I don't know if the rhinestones are coming up clear because it's like all monotone. But nice. I like, oh, another Easter, you know, a little Easter basket with the speckled eggs. Cute. That was another pen. Come here. Oh, that's nice. This must be old. It feels like plastic. What type of plastic? I don't know. But interesting. Almost looks Roman. To me. Look, we have some pine cones. Earrings. These are metal. I think they need a jump ring because this is, this doesn't have a lot of movement. This one more so, but I think a jump ring would help. And I think different ear wires would look better too. Okay, stretch. These are glass beads, they feel cold. Oh, we have, I was going to say, I wonder if that was what I was smelling. There might be perfume in there, but it's a wrap bracelet with a diffuser. Oh, well, I guess I didn't see it in another. But I know I've had similar styles to this, but 
Nice. I like these. I like those. Probably not. Oh, I was going to say probably not something I would wear these days, but there was a time when I would have. And here's another pair of the pearls, fashion earrings made in the USA, which leads me to believe they are older. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Love that green. I sure do. That's my color. Macot. This might have a name on it. Oh, it's broken. Oh, too bad. This is broken. Let's see, it's supposed to be the three leaves like this, but it's broken. I think it's a combination of both glass and acrylic beads, but let me see if this has a maker's mark or just something else written on it. Oh my, it's not what I expected. It has an M period West Germany. So I'm thinking the M is made in West Germany. Oh, wait a minute, here's another name. DeVille? Oh, I'm not sure what that says either. D E A. I don't know what that next letter is. D D E A something Ville. Okay, I have homework to do. Wow. Very, very interesting. Oh, and those black beads, the black ones really are sparkly. Okay, doke. Let's see, what is this? Well, we've got a clover charm with a tassel. We've got some purple beads, some gold spacer beads, and that V. Yeah, I, I don't know, I have not been able to find that mark. It almost looks like the, the Swarovski Swan, but not quite. But I can't find it in my research. I've asked you guys if you know what it is, and I haven't gotten a response, so I guess you all don't know what it is either. <laughs> and here we have a shell bracelet. Shell and beads, and... Seriously. Seriously? I don't know. This is crazy. I think that's it. <laughs> uh, I don't like to have to fight with my jewelry. It's too much effort. But we got that. And ooh, we have a hair clip. And I'm not sure. It's a woman. It's got a woman's face. I, oh, okay, this has to be a belt. Very heavy. So is this an AV or VA? Got that. And we've got this. Oh, this is broken. I think it says Japan, but it's broken. Well, I'm glad they put it in a bag. It's kind of dirty. So, and here's another one in a bag. I don't think it's a size eight. Yeah, I'm not going to take this one out. It looks dirty, and I'm not sure if it is broken. But it looks like there's some verdigris on it, also. With some editing. I might be able to cut this down, so I am going to continue. We have another, and I smell that perfume. I hope I don't get a headache. Hardy's. There you go. It's a tech pin. And we have a stretch bracelet. I don't know. 
I don't know what that scent is, but I smell it a lot in these jewelry drawers. It's the same scent. And it actually gives me a headache. So, I don't know. These look like they might be older. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see a name. Could be this away. Could be this away, I think. Could be this away. I don't know. <laughs> nice cabochon. Oh, this is cute. No name. Leaf brooch. And here we have a dragonfly tech pen. Looks like clay. And what do you know? We have a lock and a key. Three keys. To, four keys. No, three. <laughs> that one looked thick. I thought it was three down here and one up there. So three keys on the lock. Another Hardee's. Well, that looks like an old-time cash register. So maybe a uh, reward for a cashier. Oh, we have a set here, it looks like. And it's missing a hook or a lobster claw clasp. Interesting, though. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Interesting. Okay, let's get some more. We got this one. This looks familiar. Nice chain. It's good shape. And this, the limited. Very lightweight. And this is tacked together. This is all one piece, but it comes down lariat style. Okay. Thing is heavy, but I'm gonna try to. That's the end of it. Oh, a lot of loose beads. Very lightweight earring. Oh, this is. Pr oh, I like this. I bet you this is gold. Oh, well, maybe not. It sure does look have the look of gold filled though. And it's overwound, or whatever causes it to freeze up like that. It is a Croton, C-R-O-T-O-N, it looks like. Very nice. This is definitely older. Definitely. Very nice. I like that. And this looks like the black one. Looks like the same type of bead. Beads, beads. Oh, we have a coin, maybe? Yeah. 1983. I do not read Spanish. And if I tried to pronounce it, I would probably butcher it, so... <laughs> I don't know if... If it's coming up, if you can read it, if anyone out there, some of our Spanish-speaking friends, can translate, that would be nice. Interesting. I like finding stuff like that. It's different. Another zebra. Another zebra. And another. And another. And another. Is that it now? I think so. The beads, something definitely broke. Oh my. Oh, and we got a Look, there's a three piece set. This goes with that um, leather and pearl, faux leather and pearl necklace and bracelet. So nice. And where we here we have a gold plated leaf. And we have a rose gold tone. I would 
guess. Nice. And we have, I do like that. A smooth and a textured leaf brooch. No name, but it's older. It's riveted on. And this is pretty. Oh, <laughs> that's even prettier. Butterfly with rhinestones. And we have a heart lobster claw clasp. And another zebra. Now that's just a part, that's why I didn't say anything. Oh, this is cute. A little Christmas tree brooch pin. Here's 2001 USA Team Partner for Olympics. And another Hardy with their fries. Wow, I don't see any marks on this. But that is very pretty. This is very Celtic in nature. Looks like the Celtic knots. Very nice. I'll have to look at this a little closer. It could be that company. I think it's, they used to be called uh, Miracle. I, I found a necklace and a brooch, I think. I don't see a name. And I'm spending too much time on this. But that is gorgeous, and I love it. Little angel. Cherub. That looks like the Raphael angel that I found recently. Is that a, looks like a hat. Don't see any marks on it, but, oh, this is, looks like a, for our military uniform. Hmm. This is broken, New York. A little, oof. We got one of these last week, too, I think. And, oh, we got one of these. So we have two hooks. Maybe we can make a pair of earrings. And there's a paper clip. <laughs> and a South Carolina charm. State charm. And we got a bunch of loose beads and some earrings that I will pull out and I'll get all the earrings together and we'll look at them as well. They may be a bonus video. I got to match them up. So I'm going to end here with all of this miscellaneous on the mat <laughs> and get the earrings together. I don't know. I may come back. This is running rather long, but, uh, I will either come back and tack it to the end of this, or I will do a separate video on it. So, either way, I will be seeing you soon. I also forgot to show you what was in this box. It's a velvet box, and... Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I hope it opens. And we have... E-N-A-M-M. -M. Is that a word or is it just uh, an insignia of some kind? Uh, an abbreviation? I don't know. Enum. Enum. <laughs> but we have a pair of cufflinks. I don't see any marks on it though. And it doesn't... Yeah, because it didn't look like gold. So gold tone. Cufflinks with an anchor. Okay, we've got those. And we have some pairs and we have some signals with the earrings. We have this with pearls and rhinestones. I think it's I think it's rather cute, so too bad we didn't find the other one. We might. We, we might have it or we might find it in the future. This is single beads. This is single. Oh, a lot of wear. Says something, I think it's patented or patent pending. Something like that. Here's another clip. 
made in, I don't know if it's Western Germany or just Germany. Western, yeah, I can see the W-E-S on this side and in Germany, made in Western Germany. But I only see the one of these and these, and then we have there's a clip, and this one is a post. It's a post on this one, post with the purple enamel. Here's another one that looks familiar. Oh my goodness. What are the chances? I never did find that other clip with the pearls and the scallops. I may have put it in the one. I mean, I did put some um, craft earrings together in bags and, and sold them. Or did I try to give them away? I don't remember. Um, and they may have actually went, that earring. So I may have had it. And it it's something I don't normally like to do, but they are piling up. I need to get rid of this jewelry. Ah, that was just a, a acrylic, and oh, that's very colorful. Very colorful. And then we have a uh, two different size pearls with the post. We have this rhinestone, this rhinestone, and this rhinestone. These are all singles. And this one. And then this one, this kind of looks like a pine cone also. And then we have a little bus. I guess it's a little bus. Or fire engine. Looks like it has a ladder on the side. Maybe it's a little fire engine. And then this tiny little red with the um, diamond cutting. And we have this. And this one says Don Miller Pewter. I'd like to find the other one of those. Those are pretty. And now we get into the... No, we got one more single. This. And it's not... It's not attached properly. But we've got that. And then we have these as a pair. Very nice. And we have these. Little Christmas stockings. Looks like AB rhinestones on the top. And it's all the way around. Well, that's nice. So it's front and back. Got those. And we have these, which I think are Avon. Yep. One has a back, one doesn't. But those are Avon. And then, keeping with that, we've got some stars and stripes. With the glitter. Oh, this, this is ball chain, and this is just like a curb chain. So they are chain. Hard to hold. And we have these. May or may not be a little diamond. I can test it and I'll let you know. And then we have these silver tone love knots. And then we have these silver tone. Um, Looks like ribbons, perhaps, with rhinestones. And these. I think they're all acrylic. Oh, that's it. Very short add-on. So that's going to do it for that jar. And actually, that's the first one under the new, the, under the name change my treasure hunt so uh, there are going to be additional changes coming like I said I'll be adding or changing the pictures soon so I'll have a different banner look and a different um, profile picture all coming in due time so I want to say thank you to everyone that has supported this channel over the last five years uh, I hope we will continue on a positive path in the future and be able to do some more treasure hunting. So, you know, I call it my treasure hunt, but it's really our treasure hunt. And I hope you will come back next week and we'll open up a new jar and we'll continue that hunt. Until then, you all take care. Bye-bye.